Previously on Survivor. After four eliminations, each tribe named a representative for the impending tribe swap. The two of you can keep your buffs, the rest of you can drop your buffs. After winning the immunity challenge, the Roxborough tribe built bonds across tribal lines. At the Fairmount tribe, Emma and Gabe found themselves in the minority, looking to find an ally. If you guys would take me in, I would kind of like At tribal council, Fairmount contemplated which Roxborough they could trust, and Emma was voted out of the tribe. Eleven are left. Who will be voted out tonight? saw everybody my plan is just like I'm gonna just tell you everything so I told Aymir that I voted for him I see you have my fellow my, my green I want to wipe this off I am not oh do you know like how you feel it yeah, the text. No, you no, guys no. stop or something so okay this is what happened I told them what went down with the tribe swatches I told them that the other team went aligned with Gabe right before the challenge they were like drop your bus and then we had to choose a leader of our tribe we thought that that was going to be like the leader of the challenge we didn't know what that meant we chose Ben and they chose Sunshine yeah. turned out it was a schoolyard pick to be to decide who was on each uh -huh. but you could only choose someone from not, not on your tribe so I got stuck just with the odds. It was just me and Gabe from Purple. So I just was like, I have connections on the other side that we can, I can, you know, loop you in. Because Gabe's point was like, I have no one and I will follow you. So I was like, I can't say I have no, you know, like I have to say something different. Yeah. They didn't like that, I guess, and they all voted. Yeah, so the numbers went on my side. Wait, who did you disadvantage? I did, yeah. Okay. Who did you disadvantage? You said who? Age. Okay. I'll okay. tell you why, but okay. who did you? I did, um, uh, Jaleesa. Amir told me that he wrote down Jaleesa. I don't know if I believe him. It could have been me. He said he, he needed a second to remember, so maybe, I don't know. Who did you? I did. Okay. So we and you? <laughs> I think I had a chance to do what I wanted to do until I just ended up on the wrong tribe. But I'm proud of myself for lasting through every single tribal. Um, I think I'm, I'm proud of how I did in the challenges. And uh, just, it is what it is. I'm down for whatever we got going on here. Okay, we made a flag. Oh, that's so cute. So, okay. we're the outcasts. We gotta come back from. Me too. <laughs> Obviously, I'm out of the game right now. If I come back, I do have some information because now I have Kristen here who's on the green team and she has other insights. So, um, I'm just gonna put it all out there and just be messy and see what happens. You know, what's your story? When Emma walked up, I, I knew she voted against me. She wouldn't even look me in the eye at first, and finally I broke the ice. I used to live um, on a horse farm in uh, Woodstock, uh, sorry, Pedrick Town. Okay, I think my, my horse was right on Pumper Road. Oh, okay, nice. Found out that she grew up in a horse farm, and I have horses, so I finally had an opportunity um, here to find something that we have in common. My, horse person. my mom is, she still has a horse, she's going to be a mill now, but we uh, at one point lived on a farm, um, which was really cool. We had like six different horses, so wow. yeah. 
What about you, Chris? And what's your story? What do you think made you get here? I feel like I'm starting. I'm just, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a baby adult. I feel like before I was feeling, you know, more aligned to this rewind team, but now I feel like my alliance has fully shifted to this rewind team because I was still like, I don't know if I should stick it out for the green. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm starting out making these ships. I'm finding places. I got my. I was like, I signed the lease. Like, <laughs> so I don't know. Just new beginnings, I guess. This is a great <laughs> I left the first date, called up one of my friends, and said I just met the woman I'm marrying. Oh, that's so, cute. <laughs> I, I know immediately. But yeah, it's it's good. Our families get along. We, it's everything happens for a reason. Everything happens at, at the right time. Uh huh. Sorry, like I'm not like I'm not on the first date because I'm part of like uh, campus ministry back in Westchester. Oh, okay. If I if they were to find their own, I would, it would be so many times, which is unfortunate because that's not what Christianity is. No, Jesus not. is, right. you know. Yeah. Jesus is love. I'm kind of thankful for this uh, this portion of the game, this twist. I feel like I've now been able to connect with people I didn't have a chance to connect with before. We got to really know about each other here, which is um, different from being in the game. Um, you have to make some on-the-fly decisions in the game, and I feel like here we've had time to soak it all in. And, and I'm happy. That I, this is why I do these things. Like, obviously I want to win. Obviously I want to fire compete, but it's also really just about meeting different people. Yeah. Yeah. We just had the most amazing conversation about um, about just like our sexual orientation. And now that we've gotten to talk to each other, we didn't really have the chance to speak to each other when we were there. It's such a fast-paced game where the strategy goes. I would never call it half you. <laughs> but you never know. You, you never know. Yeah. I was 20 years old. Um, I was on and off the streets of Philadelphia. Uh, my favorite go to place was like Penn's Landing, it's where I felt the safest if it was an overnight. Because the parents, it, it just wasn't big in my big fat. And when they were like, I worked in a bar called Kurtz, and that's where I met my friend Butchie. And uh, Butch, man, what a great guy. And I'll never forget, um, he, he did have AIDS, because back then it, it was AIDS. And um, he was in and out of the hospital, and you know, I had become a cop in the time frame. And I'll never forget finishing a work in the morning and going to Pennsylvania Hospital and seeing um, the nurses had on these moon suits back then. Um, then I look and there's this food tray sitting outside. And I'm like, he hasn't eaten. And it's, they didn't want to suit up to get in there. So I wound up putting my uniform on and going back. And they're telling me, oh no, you can't go in. And I would look at him and no one would stop me. And I picked up his food tray and, um, and I helped feed him. And then as I was leaving, I looked down the hallway and the hallway was filled with trays. And uh, I stayed and fed others. I think it was one of the best group of people in Because it did a lot of that. It's going to raise everybody around you. Yeah. 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 If you're watching this and you're on the fence about trying it out, like definitely give yourself the shot, get, put yourself out there. Um, you're gonna make friends, you're gonna learn more about yourself and about others. It's, it's a, definitely a great experience. Right, you have all arrived at your fifth challenge today in Survivor Philadelphia Season 3. Roxborough Tribe, I'll take back the immunity. Thank you. Immunity is back up for grabs today. 
Are you all ready for your next challenge? Yes. Yeah. All right, today's challenge is called island hopping. For today's challenge, one person from each tribe at a time will compete in a head-to-head -head showdown against a member of the opposite tribe in a classic game of Survivor Shuffleboard. Each player will throw three sandbags and attempt to land them on the board to score points for their tribe, while also attempting to knock their opponent's sandbag off the board. At the end of each round, after you make your three throws, the player that has the most points will score a point for their tribe. The first tribe to score five points will win immunity. Everybody has to throw before you can throw again. Now there is a twist to today's challenge. You'll see different point values on the board, but if instead of trying to help your tribe win immunity, you're more interested in your own safety, you can draw your attention to the small red question mark spot at the bottom of the board. The first player, and only the first player, to have a sandbag on the red question mark at the end of a round wins an advantage in this game. So do you want to be selfish and try to go for the advantage? Or do you want to help your tribe and get to the next round? You're playing for immunity today, but today you are also playing for reward. You're going to go back to camp and have sweet treats, candy, <laughs> sugar rush that you need. But you're not going to have to spend that time alone because you're going to get to spend some time with some survivor greats. Come on in! I am feeling amazing to be here at Survivor Philadelphia Season 3 with the one, the only James Jones, a legend in the street. So we've got our first ever returning player, Season 1 alumni Bryce Isaiah from Survivor Kagiyan. Yeah, walking up and seeing the players like Natasha, she looks like a beast. Ryan looks like a challenge beast. I feel like Jasmine, she looks like she's a strategist. She's giving me a young Sari vibe. So I love the energy that these players have. And season 43 contestant, James Jones. Yo, it's amazing to see everybody out here excited for the game. Like, I had, like, I had thrills and throwbacks. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back on the island. I used to trails and it's great though. So I'm excited and the gameplay has been kind of cut through. So I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm like really digging it. The winner of this tribe will head back to camp with Bryce and James to enjoy that candy and get yourselves ready for the next stage of this game. Are you all ready to get to the challenge? Yeah. All right, I'll give you a minute to strategize and we will get it on. I'm trying to get on that daddy calendar. <laughs> All right, we got our first matchup. It's Timmy versus Ryan. You each are gonna draw a rock. The white rock will go first. All right, you're gonna reveal on three. One, two, three, reveal. Ryan, you got the black rock. You will go first. So Ryan, you can make your first throw. Ryan gets a one. Timmy, go ahead. Got none. Ryan's got none. Still 1 0. Timmy on and off. Ryan with his last throw. He's got a 1. It means Timmy's got to get a 3 to win this. And he does. One point for Roxborough. All right, one, two, three, reveal. Black goes first, Sunshine, you can make your first throw. Sunshine's got a two. Ben's got a one. Sunshine's got a two, that gives him four. Ben's got nothing. Sunshine's got four. And he brings it up to six, which means, Ben, you're going to have to land this on the five in the top left corner to be able to tie. Ben gets a two. Fairmount scores their first point. It's 1-1. One, one. All right, it's tied 1-1. One, one. one, two, three, reveal. Black goes first. Robinette, you can take your first throw. Robinette gets a one. 
Paige has got none. Still nobody going for that advantage spot. Another one for Robinette, she's got two. Paige still with zero. Robinette can win it right here. We've got another one, which is gonna force Paige to try to get the five. She lands off the board. Robinette scores, it's two, one. All right, one, two, three, reveal. Manfred's got the black rock, we'll take the first shot. Roxborough leads two to one. Manfred lands off the board. Natasha with her first throw, she gets a one. Roxborough leading in this challenge. Manfred gets a one, he ties it up. Natasha off the board, still tied. Last throw. Manfred gets a one. Natasha's gotta get a two to win this. She lands off the board. Manfred scores, we're tied, two, two. All right, one, two, three, reveal. Gabe's going first. All right, Gabe making his first throw. He's got a two. Jalisa with her first throw, lands off the board. Gabe goes again. He's got a one. He's up to three. Jalisa latched a two. So it's three to two. Gabe with his last throw. He lands a three, which puts him up to six, which means, Jalisa, you've got to get the five in the top left corner. Very close, but off the board. Gabe scores. Fairmount leads three to two. All right, Fairmount leads three to two. One, two, three, reveal. Jasmine's got the black rock. She will go first. Let's go be scared. Jasmine's looking to make a comeback and tie it up here. First throw lands off the board. Ryan lands a two. Jasmine off the board again. Ryan's trying to seal the deal. With a two. So four points for Ryan. Jasmine lands off the board, which means Ryan wins, but you do get to take your last shot. Ryan gets a one. Fairmount scores. They leave four to two. One more point for Fairmount, and they will have it. All right, it's all on the line here. If Sunshine scores this point, he will win the challenge for Fairmount. We're gonna reveal, one, two, three, reveal. Timmy's going first, he will make the first shot. The pressure is on for Timmy. He lands off the board, but it looks like he might've been going for the advantage. Sunshine also off the board. Timmy off the board again. We still have zero, zero. Sunshine lands a two. This is Timmy's last shot. You've got to hit the three here. He lands off the board. Sunshine making his last toss. Fairmount wins the challenge. Safe tonight at Tribal Council. Will not be voting somebody out of the game. All right, Fairmount Tribe, you put in a great effort. You won the challenge. Come grab your leader. Yeah. 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 Gabe, this is your first time winning immunity? Yeah. yeah. I've been to every tribal so far. I almost went home a couple of tribals in a row. So just to like even pick this up and feel it and not have to go to tribal is actually insane. Oh yeah, yeah. let's go, Gabe. Yeah. All right, so you guys are heading back to camp with all the sweets and some survivor greats. Bryce and James will be heading back with you. You guys can join the tribe. Sugar Daddy. Yeah, you guys really lost. We're more fun, so yeah. Fairmount Tribe, you guys have the night off. Enjoy your reward. You can head on out to your camp. I'm excited to see kind of what happens if there's a merge. What if there's not a merge? That'd be crazy. Keep on going down. Who knows what's going to happen here? It's great. Well, they say knowledge is power. I hate knowledge is power. I hope they got one here, though. I hope they have one. This would be great. We're tuned in there. We're trying to go to Tribal. Yes, I'm definitely trying to go to Tribal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'm 
coming back from Portugal, Lisbon. Yeah. He's Carlin. Carlin. Guess what's in the airport? Carlin. He's just sitting there with Alyssa. Really? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's like you can feel like you know everyone. Yeah. You watch them on TV. Exactly. So I, we should trap the ship for like three hours. I like, don't want to let this go at all. <laughs> so it's a challenge. I actually showed out. Uh, hit some bean bags and we won and I couldn't even believe it. I literally was jumping up and down the first time we didn't have to go to the tribal council. Yeah. Alright, let's eat, y'all. We can't be too candy. Look at that group right here. It is. That was, that was HR. That was, I was about to say, that was very light. Like, <laughs> 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 With a trap swap, like Gabe, Gabe had to come on. Swap. So yeah. who was from purple? You were on purple? Okay, purple. Uh, purple. Uh, all the green ones. Yeah. So we got back to camp and we were with Bryce and James and it was honestly the craziest thing to see them in person. I've watched Survivor, you know, all my life pretty much. So to see two real Survivor players in front of you and they're giving you advice and they're talking to you about their experience and you can ask them questions. It was actually insane. It was the best challenge I could have won. So I'm just so thankful I won that challenge. Purple wasn't nice to me. <laughs> I, mean, nice to they were, I mean, they're nice, but it's almost like a fake nice. Like I had to pull in everyone for a conversation. No one was really like, hey, like let's talk. Like, Bryce is really talking to me about not setting myself in like a fulfilling prophecy. Like my whole pitch to the other green members was look, keep me, you can vote me out of five, I don't care, I just want to make the jury, blah blah blah. That's been my whole pitch to them and Bryce has kind of been like, I get that's your strategy but you don't want to put that into existence. You don't want to put that into the air that, oh yeah, just take me out of five. And honestly, my plan is to get as far and then be a number and help people flip, but that's, that's been the best advice is just don't make yourself in a fulfilling prophecy. And I was kind of like, I need to choose a side, but I'm also on the wrong side of every vote. It's like, they're leaving me out of votes, but I'm also like, I know what's going on. But it's like okay. crazy. Oh, there's no such thing as the wrong side of the vote. Just always say it's strategic. Okay. Like literally like always say it's strategic because you're making your own narrative. That's, that's, that's true. true. When they were saying that there's not necessarily a wrong side of the vote, if you didn't vote with the majority, it's about how you tell a story. It's your narrative. Being on the right side of the vote just means that whoever made the vote told you to vote. Yeah. That doesn't true. necessarily mean that you're like in the, in the no. So it's sometimes it's better to kind of just never know. Yeah. And being on outside of the vote, kind of like my first vote round vote could help you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been on the right side of the vote so far, um, but that really opened my eyes to how I can tell a story if. I end up on the wrong side of the vote, how I can spin it to benefit me. So yeah, when we all right. learn, right. we have to make that them comfortable. Because they're green has the numbers, we have to make right? the greens comfortable. We have to make all mm -hmm. the greens comfortable. And you oh, have to talk to the purple. <laughs> we're at camp, we're at the green camp, and we're seeing a lot of subtle gameplay. Like a lot, everybody's playing and everybody's watching their words. Are we comfortable with the green that's over there though? I'm over at the green camp trying to stir the pot and they are locked, sealed, and delivered. They're not saying nothing. It's reminding me of when Dr. Amanda was playing on season one. You're a good player. Yeah, and you have And I want to preface it by saying you're a good player, bitch. But you know what I mean that, but love, because it's like, you're so hard. Like, you go into this, like, mold of, like, you're uncomfortable, yeah. but really, like, bitch, you is like, yeah, and you know I love Dr. Amanda, but ooh, I was trying to get up. Yeah. Are you opposed to voting a green out? That's no, not this well, high. The ones that are over here, we're all over So, one thing, how many do you think so? And two voted for me. So I just love the gameplay. I love how serious they are, and it looks like merge is about to happen. So I don't know what that feels like, but I'm excited to see the merge, and I'm I got my fingers crossed for a couple of people. I know what it feels uh, like, yeah. and, no <laughs> and I'm super excited for the merge. Fun time, also scary. So they, we need to swing one person. Yeah, exactly. to keep this the majority. One person. I think it's the yeah. I mean, and if Natasha votes then? with us, then I know. Which one is Natasha? Natasha? Short hair or the green shirt? Green, 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 green body green outfit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. she looks like a, a physical threat. Yeah. <laughs> she reminds me of season one Survivor yeah. Philly winner. I feel like green has the numbers at this point, so I'm a little worried that green will be able to pick off purple. However, from what I've been seeing at the purple tribe, it looks like Jasmine and the girls have it locked, so they could potentially have flipped some of the green and they could be targeting some of the people at this camp, so I don't know. I feel like someone from this camp is going to hold that tribe. Okay, so that's what
So my fear came true. Emma, my closest ally, was voted out, and the green have a huge advantage in the numbers for the whole game. And we're at a 3-3 split here. Yep. Went their, you know, former tribe went their separate ways. The three, the three. They seem really small. Mm -hmm. Like they don't seem to have bad energy. We only have one other purple left. Um, so it's really important for myself, Jasmine, and Ben. We feel like in order to feel safe moving forward, like merge, we gotta we gotta make sure one of us doesn't get voted out. I think yeah. collectively, if we stand, that, like the three of us are gonna be anything. Let's we can like try to vote. And see if there's Maybe anything. Think we I trust my girls. Don't ever had it dies. So we basically just like put our photo down and we're like, we're not voting for each other. And it will, you know, apply the pressure, don't feel it. So the three of us were like, we're not switching up. So once they hear that, they start to like the pressure starts to form the cracks or like reveal them. What do y'all think though? Who do y'all want to vote out of them? I guess it depends on it, de it depends who wants to come with us. Yeah, they don't they're not giving up any. It is a 3 3 split at the moment. The tribal lines are more complicated than not. A thousand percent, like, as yeah. long as all of us are safe, I'm like a thousand percent down with it. And I can say that. But I'm with Right, so let's go poke one and figure it out, and then that's before tribal. Let's regroup and okay. see what's up. Let's get them not together. What's up, gang? Okay. Hey. Can we, we, we break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to pop okay. off real quick? Sure. Yeah. I like your first pick for a reason. Okay. I was like, I want to play with Cookie. I'm going to So, like, I'm going to play with Cookie. 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 I'm going to play with so I feel like I definitely want to keep with my tribe. Um, I do like Timmy. I really like all of them. I didn't really think about. Hello, dog. I feel like we should just keep the girl thing to ride to me. So I feel like a, like a girl alliance can definitely have the numbers compared to the boys and the boys. Uh, I feel strong with my greens. I voted with them back at Fairmount. Uh, so I'm hopeful that they vote with me, but it could very easily be a tie. And if they don't feel like going to a tie, I worry that they'll just write my name down. If they're sick and green, they're number five, six on the Because I think the first tribal council I voted in a long way. Yeah. I find myself in a spot where I have a little wiggle room. I could potentially stick with my original tribe. I could flip. Emma I, was my closest island, and she just got sent. Yeah. And so really I'm a free agent, dude. Yeah, and dude, yeah. I want. I think purple. I was a little okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like planning on sticking together or. I don't know, I still don't. I still don't try to capture the essence I don't really get a sense of passion. I'm not, it's not super clear to me why um, she's here. I mean, maybe that's none of my business, but I think, like, where's that drive, you know? Yeah, so what are you thinking? Okay. Is that a disappointment okay. to hear? Robinette did not give me much. She didn't say no name, she didn't give me much. <laughs> of course I would like to hear something because <laughs> we gotta make a decision. Are you all trying to stay? I don't know, I guess it depends on what we'll be doing. Yeah. As we move closer and closer to this goal, it's time the stakes are the stakes are higher and higher. So I need I need what I'm looking for is some 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 enthusiasm, some you know, we gotta dial it up to as Drake would say, a hundred. <laughs> so that's what if you wanna work with me, I would go do whatever you want. Let's do it. This that's, is the start of a beautiful friendship. It is. And I just really don't want it to be me because I feel like they're gonna try to get me. Okay. I, I, we need somebody, yeah. you know. 
Um, and, and they're probably closer to each other than they are to me. You know, I want to make it to the next round with some sort of alliance anyway, and I don't have a number one right now because I do think the purple girls are closer than they are to me. So I'm so open right now to like have a number one. So I'm hoping Timmy can like be my new number one, and uh, you know he'll have knowledge too of the green tribe. So post merge, he can maybe you know flex those social relationships that benefit me, and then you know I can still keep my purple girls around. You know. <laughs> How are you, Bob? How are you feeling? I'm pretty good. How are you feeling? Okay, let me do the full transparency. Okay. Don't okay. worry about the numbers post merge. Now, obviously, post merge, you guys are going to need to make moves. Like, you can't just be at the, the bottom of like a huge, you know, frat or whatever it is. I don't know the vibe is. Yo, Ben and Jalisa tried to divide the team via Natasha. Three of us are solid, and we're just looking for now. So, if you want to join, down. That's all I'm saying. That is quite the Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like music, you know, we can bump it up. <laughs> <laughs> Way to read the room. Oh, <laughs> snap. <laughs> ah, that, that was not a good idea. That was not reading the room, <laughs> actually. Just been like chilling and talking. And yeah. just so we look for the idol. Do we sure. <laughs> so we can have it for the merge. Hey, if you guys want some face paint, help yourself. I brought it. There's some chats about idols and advantages for sure. I mean, we just went on a little idol hunt as a squad right now, and we weren't successful, unfortunately. But there's something out there. There's something here at the Fairmount Tribe. Whether somebody has found it or not, we're not sure yet. Hi, Candy. <laughs> Starburst, Snicker, yeah. You're looking for a Starburst? Anyway. It's exciting though when they, um, I don't know. She went out and she was like, let me get some candy and say, what? I said, what? And we got this reward. Um, and then I slipped over into Paige's ear and I said, hey, um, check the, the basket for a clue because there's always something in the rewards. She called Bryce over, she slipped her hands in, I saw her grab something, she showed me that she got an advantage, we have not opened that up yet. I'm the only one that knows about it, so I don't know where I want to go with it, but I gotta figure out what's on that advantage, because I was the one that told her to check the basket. I don't want to find advantages out here, I want other people to find advantages in front of me, so I can build trust, so they know that I know that they have it, and I can expose them if need be. But if I don't expose them, they know that they can trust me, and that's not the problem. We perform our challenge, and we got to talk to Bryce and James, former Survivor players, and they gave us candy. And in the candy bowl, I found. I'm like shaking. Congratulations, you found a variance advantage. So congratulations, you have found the variance advantage. When placed in the voting urn at Tribal Council, all players will be forced to re-vote for someone else. Idols and advantages will be played before variance is revealed. No idols or advantages can be played after the variance is played. The last time this advantage can be played is when there are five players left in the game. Can the power variance shift the ties in your favor? What will be the thing that causes your time run out? So nervous. This is huge because I can just shake up the votes at Tribal after idols are played. Sunshine did see me take it, so I'm gonna have to talk to him, pull him aside. Um, he's in my alliance, so I'm not too nervous, but I always told myself I wouldn't tell anybody if I found an advantage, so now I'm gonna have to try and make sure he doesn't tell anybody that I have it. It's always like a water well deal. Last season, somebody checked inside. I feel like this advantage is like not something that I feel like I get a lot in life. Um, so I'm really excited that I have some sort of one up on the, on the game because I feel like right now I'm surrounded by all these men um, and women don't usually have the advantage of upper hand and right now I do. So I'm definitely going to take that and use this my name. I don't know because I feel like with the challenges and stuff, 
Because I get really good vibes from when you hit it off and you get it She said we did. She was like, she was on the fence with it. She was like, oh, that's so cool or whatever. Because yeah. you know the all girls thing. I'm going to show you something now. Before we were walking up, Natasha and um, they were having a conversation. Um, we're supposed to be trying to like, always and probably some of the food in there. I was in my room last round. Oh, wow. So I did feel a little bit at the bottom in our original tribe and if I didn't win immunity I felt like it would have been me instead of Kristen because my number one at the time Kristen went home and I voted with her it was like two two um yeah. like three because Ryan didn't have a vote they're, they're in the majority I'm in the minority because yeah. if I didn't win immunity it was going to be wraps for me okay. come on in I mean you know what I'm thinking I've been transparent about it with both people too yeah, okay. I, think, I think purple salt I'm nervous because I do think that the green might see me as a threat because I'm kind of having to play a little loud right now to try to get us through. Yeah, because you guys are going to need mobility for Like, you, you know, it's, it's dumb to think you're going to walk into that frat, the vibe I give over there, and like, we're solid. Like, yeah. we're battle tested, we're, we're locked in. So you guys can join us, like, and we're, we're locked in. We haven't betrayed each other either. You know, like, we're loyal people. That's what we're kind of feeling. And I love your vibes. So you should come vibe with us. We're the vibe tribe. <laughs> the vibe tribe. Yeah. Like vibe with us. We're having fun. <laughs> We've got some soft skills. <laughs> I'm a little worried that Robin is sussing me as a threat because she was like, oh, you got some soft skills. And I do. Okay. So watch it. I like you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are we locked in? <laughs> Can we make a little deal? <laughs> I'm nervous with the, the numbers, the brain, obviously, in the game. But I like your vibe. You're in the second person I to push the show. I'm just going to let Ben know where I'm putting my vote uh, because he's the only person that seems interested to work with me on the, the uh, purple side. I'm a little bit nervous that your purple girls are going to bring up my name. Okay. Well, why are you nervous? You know, if he wants to go to rocks or revote or whatever, then that's what it will have to come to, I guess. If it comes down to rocks, it just comes down to rocks. Woo! How am I feeling? I'm feeling very firm. I feel very solid and confident with Timmy and Natasha. Yo. Yo. I'm not. I'm not here for that. Yeah, I know. I know who I'm gonna vote for. And there is less ambiguity in my decision. Whereas prior to this, I wasn't. I was on shaky ground, but no longer. Are we walking? No, we're not. Hey. Walking, but I was very you got it. Definitely <laughs> This is an inflection point for starters. And and by inflection point, I mean, this was our first, myself, Natasha, and uh, Timmy. We come from this strong, you know, we come from a solid tribe. I, I'm not here for that. <laughs> that might get real fire. <laughs> this inflection point, this is our first time experiencing a, a loss and we're about to go to the tribunal so i think if we don't start <laughs> getting any leeway now it's like 1 30 a.m <laughs> that moment in the night when you you've played all the hits the audience is with you You and the audience are in it, you're locked in, and now you can do whatever you want. Like, we, I feel, I feel so firm about my decisions. Like, that's where I'm at right now. All right, you guys are sitting according to your original tribe division. So you got three Fairmount, three Roxborough. I have a feeling this is going to be an exciting tribal council. Robinette, when you headed back to camp this round and you found out you were going to tribal, tell me about the round. Do you have a good grasp on what's going on? I do. And you're confident in your plan tonight? Yes. Do you think somebody should be worried? I think we should all be worried. 
Ben, are you worried? Yeah, I mean, I'm always worried. <laughs> um, but I think, like, the three of us are solid, and we've made it this far by being solid. I've been very transparent about that with the three of them. Um, the numbers in the game are brutal for the purple people right now, and if you think that post-merge, you know, that, you know, you're gonna, there's a hierarchy to the green trap, and it seems a little, a little fratty, I don't know, I'm just perceiving things. Um, and so I think like we're approaching them with honesty and um, transparency and we want to work with them and I've presented that to all of you because that's 100% what the case is. Jasmine, are you willing to stick with your purple people or are you interested in no, branching out? No, I'm definitely sticking team purple. <laughs> so do you see a tie vote tonight? I hope not. I hope it works fine. Natasha, do you see a tie vote? Do you think this is going to stick or do you think it's more loose than it seems? I don't know. I mean, I'm very nervous personally. I know that my name is out there from that side. So I don't feel like it was totally truthful um, from the conversations I had. Uh, I mean, for me, I'd prefer we go to a tie than it just being me vote, but you can see. I, very much want to stay. So Robinette, after this vote tonight, does this five cement something and do they head into the game strong or do you think this vote will cause a fracture that could make it worse? I think it could potentially cause So you're not feeling good about the dynamics after this vote? We shall see. If it really is a 3-3, I guess we'll be deadlocked, but I have a feeling somebody is going to make a move because it is time to vote. Robinette, you're up first. I think this is the right decision. Purple Girls and I are staying strong, so hopefully we're able to swing someone over. Ah, it's a locked chest, so I wish I had a key to it. Yeah. So maybe think of a song, it might sound so corny, but I got a pocket full of sunshine. So, so sorry, so sweet. All right, I'll go tally the votes. All right, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be your time to do so. All right, I will read the votes. First vote, Natasha. It's one vote, Natasha. Delisa. It's one vote Natasha, one vote Delisa. Natasha. That's two votes Natasha, one vote Delisa. Delisa. We're tied. Two votes Natasha, two votes Delisa. Next vote. Natasha. That's three votes Natasha, two votes Delisa, one vote left. Next person voted out of Survivor Philadelphia, now or never, is Natasha. Natasha, that's enough. Need to bring me your torch. Natasha, the tribe has spoken. Time for you to go. Thank you. All right, you got five tribe members left to head into the future of this game. You guys can head back to camp. Enjoy your night. I was playing too hard. I was showing my strengths too much, and I got voted out. I knew that the purple girls were gonna target me uh, and I was really hoping to stay strong with 
Robinette and Timmy. I don't know which one of them voted for me. I kind of felt like it was Timmy. Yeah, once the girls were like, you're really good at challenges. You're really good, you're really athletic. You're really good at puzzles. I was like, shoot. And my tribe mates were like, dang, you're doing so great in the challenges. I knew I, I came out too hard. And yeah, I mean, it's an honor to be, to get, get out because I'm too good. I don't think any of the purples really betrayed me because I didn't really get to know them other than like talking strategy. Robinette really seemed like we were good. And I don't think that one of the other tribes had an extra vote. So I really think that it had to be Timmy. So let's hope my read is right. Next time on Survivor. Some moments take years to become iconic. I can't wait to come back in and see everybody's faces when I'm like, hi. And some are iconic the moment they happen. All right, Evie's got a buff. I got an extra one here. Should we give somebody the chance to earn it? This is one of them. Come on in. Oh, oh my God. The Sands of Time emerges to enact their revenge and the remaining players' mistakes are about to come back to haunt them. With all 16 players back together again, it's time to put it all on the line because it's now or never.